ground floor to do the dimensioning it's easy we go to annotate annotate tab then we have align dimension linear dimension and angular so we can choose from align linear wait sometimes we cannot select the linear for ortho you can choose if you can't do it with linear you can click this align so that first we will click here then the second one to make a dimensioning then just go any free space area just leave your mouse so to create the dimension from one three lines to another second one from here again here instead of stopping you can continue without stopping once you finish just move a little bit up it will show you snap to lock it then click it so this way you can create the dimension and if you want for angular to check from here to here just press this angular select this one and select this again from here to here the angle you can check the dimension and move it this way or up forward so for radial and diameter we will create one detail line small detail line where do we go to create small detail line annotate then uh, now last time we created architecture model line so from here I will create one circle here shows us the snap or this 900 radius so if you want to measure this line just go to annotate then diameter select the circle it will show you diameter if you want the radius just select this one radial and click here it will show you the radial from the center point <coughs> if you don't want it just simply select it you can press in your keyboard delete or here this x is for deleting it will go this one also select and delete so this way you will create the dimension <coughs> all right another i will i need to put also for those for power for lighting uh, for plumbing this architecture file I need to copy it instead of now you can go there is two ways okay we can go to view first we go to 3d view again we will go view then plan view floor plan floor plan so here it's disappeared from this box because it's already added here ground floor and first floor remove this one do not duplicate existing file if you remove this one from this dialog box it will show up ground and first so that you can duplicate those floors so from here edit type we need to choose the templates or the discipline where do you put where do you need to put the architecture file still it's mechanical i'll change it from mecha instead of mechanical i'll make it electrical i'll choose the discipline from here uh, electrical okay then power if I choose power, it will go, it will go under power. I press OK and apply OK. So I'll select both of them, ground and first floor, then press OK. So here it comes under power. So under power, it comes GF1, LF1. So you can rename these files also by right click and rename. So this GF1, make it it's power right p w r which is indicating for power anything you can give it so again rename p w r for power this way we can create another floor the third one is by duplicating we can duplicate it instead of going this long process you will duplicate those files and we will give it for lighting now we only have power so if you want to give it for lighting just right click this and duplicate view <coughs> we have three duplicate the first one duplicate if you make it duplicate it will show you without annotation it will for instance in this architecture if you have this all uh, attributes or multi leaders everything but if you choose here duplicates it will hide all the text 
to remove it only to show you the architecture and the lighting fixture, the mechanical uh, accessories, everything to show. But the text it will not show you. So based on that, you can continue another work. The second one, duplicate with details, is whatever you see here, you will copy it there. But when you add any additional notes, it will not show in the original one. But if you add any accessories or any laptop or fixtures in this architecture file, it will show you there. So let's see it together. Now, on this ground floor, I will add sample, simple things. I will create dimension. We have a dimension here, just for example. <clears throat> and I will add text. Okay, now I'll duplicate it. Right click, duplicate view, duplicate. Now what happened? You see, all the things are here, but the ones that I added the new text is disappeared, and the dimension is disappeared. So this way you can start from the beginning anything else. But if you have any electrical equipments or mechanical equipments, it will show up there. The second one, right click, duplicate and duplicate with details. Now, first, double click this. So when you duplicate it, it will duplicate to this one. Right click, duplicate with details. You see, so everything you see there, you can see it here. So, based on that work, you can continue additional work. So, nothing will be changed. Only it will be changed if you add another additional things, it will implement in this one. For instance, um, I'll go system, mechanical equipment, no, I am in under power, electrical equipment. So, here I added one thing. So let's check the original. This is the original double click. So you see, in the original also it's shown. If I delete it here, in the other one also <clears throat> it will be removed. But I'll copy this text over here. I'll go to original, double click in here. The text doesn't show. So from from the time that you copied the original file, if you add any additional thing, it will not show. In, in the original only when you add fixtures and another equipment it will continue from there so this way we can duplicate it but the last one the last duplicate let's keep it for the final time because this one is helping for especially when we create sheets sheet number one sheet number two now this you need to divide it into two let's say from grid line two to the left you will make a sheet number one from grid line two to the right we will make a sheet number two so they will create much line right between them so to refer to sheet number one sheet number two, to do that we need to create it as a depend dependent first all of them so but when you when we create this one as dependent let's let me see right click dependent doesn't change whatever you see in the original it will show independent if you if you add any fixture if you add any text it will show in dependent look because that one is only most of the time we use before Shit. Duplicate as dependent. See, all of them are here. It, but it comes under this one, you see, under the original ground floor, the dependent also came. So if you make any changes here, even though the text copy, it will come there. Copy. I'll go to the dependent. It will come here. Only it will help us this one by creating a scoop box. The scoop box is same like cropping we are using. By creating there, we can we can show it. Let's let me show you something. Okay, we have view scoop box, right? This scoop box I'll create from here to here. Scoop box name it asks me. I'll give it sheet number one. I'll copy this again. I will create another scoop box from here to here. I need to mention it, but I need to make sure it's aligned. I'll click here. This one, I'll make it sheet number two. 
<coughs> now again I will duplicate again so this one I will keep it for sheet number one the other one I will make for sheet number two okay let's see this one I will make a sheet number one to appear in this view so what will I do what I, what I will do here just I will come here try to search scoop box scoop box is none sheet number one you see it cropped the other side and I'll, I'll again I'll duplicate right click duplicate and as dependent is full sheet right so again from this scoop box I'll create sheet number two so it will show me sheet number two. now in ground floor you see those are the scoop box now if I want to hide the scoop box where do you go again to VB so if you don't know maybe this line you don't know it's line or scoop box by just go and click it once you click it it will give you guiding here scoop box so go to VB again it's what happened it's half tone so you cannot click anything which means it's controlled by view template you can make it none this electrical plan view template make it none for now okay and VV here now try to check from this under model categories scoop box press S you will not find it here so if you don't find it from here go to annotate same like line text type and those small small uh, detail generic things you will find it in here or tag room tag room names all things will find it under annotation now again I will press S you will see scoop box it's in here so I will hide it from here then OK it's gone so this one is the master plan so I'll copy again this text copy into sheet number two so if you check it here in this dependent double click this is sheet number one this one is sheet number two so that's the reason why we are creating dependence so if you need if you add anything from in this one in this dependent also it will show up here original all right so this way you will create or you can duplicate it it's clear right duplicating the three types okay And if you want to call out also for ground floor, let's say this part is electrical room. I will delete this part. Delete. This one is, is electrical room. So if you need call out for this, go to view, call out, then click from here. Just once you reach here, release. Now you see here you received one ground floor power. Pull out. So by double click that, you can see it separately. Separately, it will come the architecture plan. Here it is. Change the scale. Again, it's gray color. So remove from the view template into none. Or without removing under electrical plan, the view template, check it. Change it from here 1 to 50. Okay. So we can change the levels. This way, you will create the call out. <coughs> Okay. Coordination review. <clears throat> One more after this we we'll continue to ground floor. I'll show you what coordination review is. If you don't need this scope box, you can remove it by the lid. Or if you want to hide it, just right, right click or select the scope box, right click and all instance hide in view, hide element. So it will hide it. Or shortcut we have also, just select the scope box and press EH in your keyboard, EH element hide. 
so it will hide it. It will not delete, but it will hide. Because it will, if you delete it, it will implement to others. <coughs> okay, the coordination review is how do you check if the architectural people change something in their drawing so that what kind of message you receive in your Revit file. First, I will open one Revit new. Then I'll open the architecture in this Revit new and I'll make changes. 